I had so much stuff, I gotta make two trips. We make our way, finally. 120, one. Well, 20 minutes longer than usual. But I'm ready, finally. But no customers, well I shouldn't say I don't, no woke up customers, but right there, wrapped up in that handkerchief or whatever that is, is my first customer. Uh, the manager dropped them off earlier, she said. Sir, thank you so much. You did my knives the last time. I'm trying something different today. I took my wicked edge off of the uh, piece of plastic I had it on and I got it bolted to the table, just the wicked edge by itself. As that board was nice, but it was big and hard to move around, so I said to hell with it. I got my magnetic sheets out, two up here, two here, one over there. So we're gonna get, see what's in that scarf now and we'll get ready to go. Let's see what's in here. Feels, feels okay. I don't know what this is. This is some kind of bag. It's not a scarf. I see a big fat soon shun. I call them shun. Somebody else, they call them something else. I don't know what this is yet, but it's pink. A big fat one. Looks like a hook off. Or a hankle. That's it. Let's see what this note says. That's just the name. Okay, let's unwrap these bad boys. A mixed bag of knives here. We have a KitchenAid. That's, uh, has a sort of a rough life. It's got a few little chippies. This big fat one I thought was a Wusthof. It's a Cathalon. It's, uh, not too bad. And then we have a little shun here. Shun. But it's, uh, in terrible condition. The front part of the blade is, uh, got some nicks and chips right up there. That's got some really bad ones right there. Looks like dishwasher to me. See them little stains right along the bottom there? That's what that dishwasher soap will do to them. See a stain right there? Stain right there? Stain right there. I'm betting dishwasher soap. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm finished, except for a little buffing on the leather belt. All the chips are gone, like a razor. These shuns get really, shuns get good, good, God. Stand by a minute, I gotta take a nitro. Get really sharp on the wicked edge, it's unbelievable. It's uh, unbelievable how sharp they get. I was hoping somebody would come by and uh, shoot some video of me sharpening it. Except for one person. I'll let it sit here a minute or two longer, see how it goes. Um, and remember what using the wicked is, whenever you stop, you gotta put a towel on it, or a rag, or something to cover it up. But for some reason, you just can't remember that it's in there. And you're reaching over here, 
and you're reaching over here and you're getting you're getting cuts everywhere. Some people have really got some really nasty cuts on their arms like right through here. But lucky enough I haven't uh, happened to try any of those. I've just been uh, lucky I guess. I've cut the tips of my fingers you know when it slips off the end of the knife sometimes. That's why I bought those Kevlar gloves. Just for that reason. Okay, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. I just got a set of these, six of these. Guy says they are called T O J I R O, made in Japan. He says, I thought, ask him where they're steak knives. He said, well, we use them for everything. They got some. Two of them got some little chips in them. The other four are not too bad. Stand by. Let's see if I can get you some pictures of them. A few little chips, you can see them reflecting in the light. You see them? This one's not too bad here. This one's not too bad. Just them two. They got the worst places all. We got two more over here. Okay, I'll stand by. How are you today? <coughs> are you shopping? <laughs> I could be wrong with that, right? Hey, <laughs> okay, we're recording. Okay. There it is. Now, what do we call these knives? Uh, Tajiro's. And you, and they, you, they're Japanese, I can tell, because the stickers on them. Yes. And you got them online, huh? Yeah, I got them on Amazon, and they're supposedly the uh, more inexpensive equivalent to Shun. Oh yeah. Like I said, they look really nice. the last customer but the next to the last customer bought a nice whole set of shuns big chefs serrated bread utility santuco para it's a shade uh, four after ten look at here an old block I take them home it's still blowing light rain look at the cardinals in your bird feeder I got uh, six steak knives and some big knives, little knives. Guy said these are anniversary gift fiberware, 25 years ago. Never been sharpened. But he's he's got some kind of pull through thing, so I can't really say that. But I guess he meant by a sharpener or somebody like that. They've got stains on them, see them? Dishwasher stains. They're really in bad condition that way wise, but they're not in really too bad a shape considering the age of them. These stains on them. They're not as bad as some, I see. Stand by a minute. Look, that's not a good sign. Last week we broke the horseshoe bracket thing that holds some kind of spigot doodad in, in our sink. Rusted. Rusted away, whatever a horseshoe bracket is. So we ordered a new one from Faucets, E Faucets. And it came in, uh, came in last week, but the caps didn't come in. Here used to be a turn on and off switch, and here's the, the sprinkler came out of. Now it's all self-contained into one. And 
and got big rich, big scoop rich. He's a plumber. He put it in for us today while I was gone. Pretty cool. So far, pretty cool. I just talked to Mumbles man to see how the race was going. He said it ate. It's rained out. I get to get him tomorrow and pick my two drivers and see who's going to do damage to who. He's going to Richmond next weekend, he says. That's about it. I'll get these babies out. We'll take a look at them in a few minutes. There they are. Six steak knives. Para, like a boner. A long boner or a slicer. A slicer and a big chest knife. It's funny how you can tell the people who have these are, I guess, right-handed. Because all the ones on the left-hand side of the block, I've been steak knives I'm talking about now, have use. The ones on the right-hand side look like the day they came in the block. Like they've never been used at all. Isn't that funny? They pick them up with the left hand. I guess that's what I should say. They're left. They're not left-handed, but they pick them up with the left. And they always pick up the ones on the left-hand side of the block. I don't know if you know that or not, but now you do know it. You've got information today. <laughs> you don't even always get important information like that. Let's see what my boys are doing in here. What are you doing in there, Big old Jack? He says, well, you know what we're doing. We're waiting to go outside and play with that tennis ball right there. And that one over there. And those, 